Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where we are currently attempting to push across North America here. And it's going... I mean, this is, this is a particularly noisy view. Very, very difficult to see what's actually going on at this elevation. I like it. This is perfect. I have no idea what's happening, and that is the way I like it. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, or maybe out a little bit. Yeah, this is much cleaner. So we're kind of giving and taking over here. That's to be expected. However, Texas's infrastructure is going to start getting substantially better very, very soon. Which is, of course, going to give us quite a lot of benefit. We need New Mexico to also be part of this group here for our logistics. But overall, I feel like this is going very well. We are struggling over on this side, although that's not unsurprising considering the numerics of the situation. But overall... I'm hoping that we will have this supply region at this point. N next episode. At this point, next episode. <laughs> like, during this episode is the way I'm trying to phrase this. I hope that we have this supply region. <laughs> Once we have the supply region under our control, Oklahoma is going to need additional supplies. That's definitely problematic for us. That said, if we can just get Texas and New Mexico. Actually, we're attacking Oklahoma City right now. So that's not too bad, all things considered. We can move away we can move this division over here. Although these guys I'm noticing don't appear to be moving. These guys are assigned to this, right? Apparently they weren't. Well now they are. Excellent. Well, in theory, now they're going to be making their way down here. I keep forgetting that you can't Wazda in this game. I don't know why, but I keep forgetting that. This division is not assigned. We'll assign it in. And in theory, it will begin moving as well. Indeed, it has. Fantastic. Can we do any more war propaganda? Yeah, we actually can, and we absolutely will. Fantastic. So... We are at this point incredibly close to having this entire supply region under our control. That is a big, big deal for us, of course. Their supplies up here are... I have no idea what their supplies are like. 18 max over here? Okay. I don't know what their max is up here, though. That's the core issue. We actually lost Santa Fe there briefly. Or are, are we attacking it back? Yeah, we're, we're getting it back. We should be there relatively soon, unless these guys manage to reinforce it. They are retreating that way. We had Santa Fe, right? Because we were able to... Yeah, we were able to build the uh, infrastructure there. Well, we'll get it back. No worries. There are certainly a lot of enemies, but our primary attacks are going on over here. Our secondary attacks are going on over here, but these are mostly just a distraction, and we're attempting to push eastward and make this front even wider because, you know, that's useful, I guess. <laughs> this division can go ahead and hop into this army. That'll be fine. We do need to continue reinforcing these armies, after all. Additional divisions will finish up eventually. And we seem to be doing reasonably well. I do wish there was a way to combine army groups, like army group groups. <laughs> that would be a convenient way to handle situations like this. But I honestly feel like Hearts of Iron 4 isn't exactly designed for the situation we're in. So there is that. Regardless, we are making some good progress. New Mexico will hopefully have Santa Fe falling again pretty soon, but that's honestly not a particularly large target here. We're trying to push to Vicksburg is the, the main goal, really. 
Vicksburg would be the ideal thing to take, since that is the capital of Chickasaw. And that will be wonderful. If Chickasaw falls, that's a huge deal. Although, let's look at their current manpower. They're up to 50k. Okay, they're probably gaining, what, around 30k per month? So they're floating on their uh, current gains, is what I'd argue. However, Ojibwa is the bigger issue here. They have an 11 million manpower pool right now. And we expect that to continue to come up. They are the alliance leader, so we expect them to be fairly difficult to push through. That said, is Chickasaw also an alliance leader? Alliance of, of Ojibwa and Alliance of Brazil, that's right. But at this point, I would argue that Chickasaw is basically the leader. That said, they're 48% towards capitulation. Okay. I like how so far we've had 16 million casualties. And we've inflicted, what is this, like 34 million casualties? I like it. I like it a lot. Unfortunately, America capitulated. It's because they're a bunch of jerks. Actually, more specifically, it's because they didn't build naval bases to bring in additional supplies. That's the core reason. Although we probably should have annexed them earlier on. Built our own naval bases and brought in the supplies. That's what probably should have ended up happening. We have this unassigned division. This is not a paratroop division, so we'll head on over. Excellent. I do see that we lost two more divisions in this army. We do expect to start seeing some real losses as we're fighting these big boys, right? But that's okay. We're going to continue pushing in and... America is getting some of these? Awkward. Owner Chickasaw. Controlled by Chickasaw. What? But this says America. This definitely says America. Okay. So America is getting some of this. Which is baffling to me. But okay. I wonder if that means that we can work on actually annexing them. I don't know. We're currently lend leasing them 1,500 convoys, but I don't believe that they have any naval ports to take receipt of that. This division is unassigned, and we will definitely assign it on over. Excellent. And in the meantime, the question then becomes just how quickly can we force Chickasaw to... Uh, to capitulate. Justification for, of conquering Navajo, California is complete. We're probably going to hold off on that for a little bit here. And the question is exactly how long. I don't want to fight Navajo yet, I don't think. That said, we kind of have to. Don't we? We could declare on them. Otherwise, we will lose this war goal relatively soon. So we're going to declare on them. And I'm actually going to completely redo all of our orders right now. Okay. So first things first, I want these guys to be on a particular front line. And I want that front line to be pretty much this supply region. So I want it to be... Pretty much this right here. Excellent. And then I want these guys to be on everything else here. So up over... Oh, can we not? Yeah, we can't. We have to do this on two separate front lines. That's right. Like that. So we'll have some army divisions assigned to here. And we'll have these two army divisions assigned to here. Like that. Okay. And the goal of these guys should probably be, for now, to have an offensive line that is roughly here or so. Roughly. And then the goal of these guys would be an offensive line 
that is pretty much... Actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to do it like that. I'm just going to have it be basically a line straight across here. Like that. This is super awkward. But okay. You know what? Let's actually delete this. I don't like that super awkward bit. So we will have our offensive line be about... to there. And we'll go ahead and engage that. But of course, we'll have to move around troops. And that's okay. Navajo has joined the Alliance of Ojibwa, to no one's surprise. There's another nuke going off over here. This is a completely irrelevant place to nuke. I don't care. Honestly, I feel like nukes are just irrelevant. They don't do much, honestly. Like, they really, really don't. Okay. So we are positioning up over this way. I hope. And we have some people on the way over. We may lose a little bit of territory over here, but that's okay. We're going to just push in on multiple fronts. Of course, we are moving around rather a lot. And we may end up losing a little bit of territory while we're moving around. And that's okay. I don't mind that. These guys can hop into this army, and over they go. And you know, realistically, we should probably start having our recruitments be over here. So instead of being here, maybe have it be... has to be on a green province? Okay, so it has to be on the same continent as our force, but fair enough. We can do, like, over here. I did not mean to add a unit. I instead meant to have this be, like, over here. This is already in the Windward Coast, and this is already in the Ivory Coast. So that will, hopefully, be a little bit quicker in getting over here. That's the goal, anyway. So yeah, we are in motion here. And that is, of course, to be expected. Looks like we have managed to push up into Navajo a little bit. So that is great. Or did we already have that? I think we already had that, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Okay, let's look at our logistics situations. Not too terrible, honestly. Our logistics are looking okay. In terms of our movements here, we've still got a number of those happening. Which, fair enough. That is, of course, completely expected. We've got some free India reinforcements up here too, which is always nice to see. And in the meantime, we are hoping to do some repairs on the Texas infrastructure. Yeah, it'll not complete currently, but we just need to take the rest of this state. These last couple of locations here and here is what needs to happen. But we are redeploying right now. Wondering what army is supposed to be the, here. Army 21? This seems like a, there's a gaping hole right now. These guys are just kind of chilling over here. You guys are supposed to be holding this region. Come on, guys. Get over here. What are you doing? Why are you here? Like, no, seriously. Why are you here? You're supposed to be over here. Get up here, guys. Apparently they just weren't getting orders. It's very awkward. That leaves a gap in our defenses here. Luckily, it seems like they're not taking advantage of it, at least not right now. Well, hopefully we'll get a raid over here pretty soon. We do have additional units on the way in. Some of these were all the way down over here for some reason. These are paratroop units, of course, and that's fine. I'm going to actually move them closer to the front, though. Hello, that's another nuke. I really don't care, though. Like, I really don't care. I can't... I honestly can't believe how much I don't care about nukes. So these guys are going to come area defend Texas. Just to help us out a little bit. Actually, no, they're not. They're going to area defend over here. Another nuke. Ooh. 
I don't think it's relevant. Like, I really don't. Sure, they did a little damage. We'll get it repaired. How much did they even do? Three infrastructure damage. I really don't care. I think it's very irrelevant, honestly. Looks like they're attacking pretty hard over here in Navajo. I'm not surprised by this. We still have a lot of troops on the way over. And this is completely undefended right now. I'm really, really not a fan of that. Hopefully our troops get over there eventually. Hopefully. We have an unassigned division here. This is a paratrooper division. We'll toss it in over here. Wonderful. Now, I'm interested in moving our African defense over into this theater. And we're just going to toss some of these lower quality brigades over here. I don't think we need these where they are. And we'll just toss them in. If they die, they die. I'm not concerned. Okay, we've got eight more. So we need two units here. Nope, here. There we go. Excellent. So that's all of these maxed out. And then we'll assign this into this army group. And these guys will get assigned into this order. There we go. So they'll make their way over. They're terrible troops. But they're something. We've also got this unassigned tank division here that we can plop into there. Excellent. Excellent. If we take a few losses over here, I'm not too concerned. We'll get them back. We just need to get our defenses arrayed. And we are making some level of progress on that, it looks like. Good. That is very good. Now, if we look at this, I want to look at how this is planned to spread. Yeah, overall, I think that's okay. And this one? Overall, I think that's okay, too. Yeah, I'm not concerned about that. So Navajo, what do they have currently for their manpower? Nothing. They've got no manpower. So the only thing that this really did is widen this front. Okay. I don't really mind that. Looking at our Texas logistics here, we still need to take a little bit of Texas. I'd love to take this area up here. That said, there's more America coming up over here. I don't hate that, necessarily. I'll be interested to see what all counts for America here. <laughs> like, what all counts as liberating America. But there are a fair number of Free India divisions coming in as well. That is definitely something to note. These guys are still on their way in over here. And once they get here, hopefully they'll be spread out amongst these areas. I'm just shocked that these guys aren't attacking down here. It's literally undefended. But okay. Here's another paratroop division. Sure. Excellent. And I'm wondering, are we set to aggressively attack? Yes, we are. Of course, we're still lining up along these new lines that we've created. But that's okay. We won't need to do this again because we're essentially cutting the continent in kind of half. Not quite half, but pretty close to half. So that's great. And once we get everybody in position, then we should be able to resume our attacks. But I definitely wanted to get Navajo brought in, and in order to do that, we needed to redraw the lines because we were assuming that we weren't going to get attacked through Navajo. But that is no longer a safe assumption. Excellent. So we are struggling to make some of these attacks, but I don't honestly care. We're just going to continue pushing up into Oklahoma, it looks like, and opening the pause menu for absolutely no reason whatsoever. We're going to continue running our war propaganda. 
And we are also going to do what exactly with all this all this political power? I mean, I'd love to annex America. We need them to get a a naval port in order for that to work. We'll see what they actually end up getting. We're under attack pretty heavily in the California region, but we're winning, so that's great. We do have this available war goal, and we're going to declare on them. They will join, but we don't care. Like, realistically, we don't care. They have less than 100k troops available. Like, this is not relevant. Like, their manpower is basically nil. And that will allow us to push up all the way through this. Are we at war with everyone here? Maybe not some of these guys. I'm not going to declare on them yet, though. Let's just hold off for now. And we'll continue pushing in over this way. And see what we can get. I keep hoping that we're going to get Oklahoma City one of these days. Unfortunately, crossing that river is kind of complicated. Overall, we've got some river crossings that we're struggling with. Ooh, that's a potential victory there. If we can get there. This is an unassigned division here, and we'll just pop it into there. Perfect. How are we doing on our movements? These guys are almost moved now. That's great to see. And these guys are also almost moved. So that is also wonderful. I'd love to build additional infrastructure. But we need to continue pushing for that to happen. However, between us and the Free India troops, I think this is going absolutely fine. I'm really not concerned about this. Did we just... Yeah, we have Phoenix here. I'd love to take Santa Fe back. Army 11 here still has troops on the way in. Okay, fair enough. We do have some free dockyards, which surprises me a little bit. We probably want to get additional submarines. Okay, we only had the one free dockyard. I don't care so much about the free civilian factories, although I do want to go in and check to see if we can build any additional factories. And indeed we can. We're going to build more civilian factories over through this region. Excellent. That all looks good. And with any luck, we will take Oklahoma City or Santa Fe very soon. Either of those would be absolutely fantastic. Does, Louis Does Louisiana not have a victory point? Oh, there it is. New Orleans. I was just dumb and didn't see it. Or... Ah, that would be why. The text doesn't appear until you zoom in a little bit closer for some of them. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Regardless, let's check into how we're doing up here. I expect these mountains to be pretty bitter fighting. Who is this? Alaska. Oh, so we are at war with Alaska. Okay. They have about 4 million manpower. That's impressive. Okay. Good for them. Good for them. Now, we could bump up to service by requirement, but I really don't think that's worthwhile. Construction speed, factory output, dockyard output, training time? No thanks. Pass on that one. Besides, I think we've got enough manpower to grind our way through here. Well, I was hoping that we'd have the entire state of Texas by now, or at least, well, really this whole supply region I was hoping that we'd have by now. But unfortunately, that does not appear to be the case. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode... We are going to continue our push as our reinforcements roll on in. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.